So lately business has been good and that led me to do something that I think we all tend to do when business is good. I went and looked at some cars online, ended up at the Tesla Model S webpage and was pretty impressed with what they did. And there was one particular effect that struck my fancy and I asked myself what all of us Muse users tend to ask ourselves when we see something cool on the web. Can Muse do that? And that thing that I saw, that effect that I saw, is when I was scrolling down, there was this little chart, little graph, call it what you will, but it starts to get this red liquid flowing through it. And that red flows down, and it starts coming down from solar and wind and geothermal, and then it comes down here and it meets back in the middle and keeps flowing and eventually reaches the bottom. I thought that effect was really cool, and I naturally had to ask myself, can Muse do that? And uh, it turns out Muse can, and it turns out what we're all looking at right now in this video is my version made in Muse, and you guys are probably going to laugh out loud when you see how easy it is. So I'm going to close this window, and I'm going to show you how it starts. It starts in Photoshop or another photo editing application, if that's what you use. Uh, it starts by having an image, sort of a background so to speak. I have all the text and everything on one layer which is not necessary but the background this gray background doesn't have the lines drawn on it it actually has the lines cut out of it so if I paint color behind it the color shows through you guys see what I'm talking about these are transparent lines cut through this layer so my beautiful pink blob shows through behind it so the way this works in Adobe Muse is real simple. If I go back over to Muse, you can see my project here. What I have done, if I move this out of the way, you guys can see behind the curtain, I've created a red rectangle. This red rectangle takes up a little bit of space and it stays at the top of my browser because I have it pinned. There's this pin button here on the toolbar. If you guys haven't used this before, this just makes the selected object stay where it is on the screen. Because I need it to stay here and I need the content to scroll past it, through it. I don't want the red to move, because if the red moves down, I would either need a really big red box, or I would lose the illusion because the red box would pass down and through and away, and you'd see the gray again. So I need to make sure that the gray appears to be wiped away by the red and stay away and stay red. So I'm going to keep the red at the very top of the browser, so that way uh, it sort of bleeds off the top of the browser, so to speak. And uh, I've got enough height here. The height is really determining the position of where, the, where in the browser the, the viewer has to scroll to before they'll see the, uh, the red, or how far the red will be from the top. So I've chosen a, a marginal gap here, not too tall, not too skinny, uh, and I've I've uh, pinned it to the browser. So now if I put this back in place, that is behind this. This here is on top, and that red is behind it. So the red just kind of bleeds through those lines that are cut out. If I go to preview this in the browser again, you could see that little flash of red there. That could easily be remedied by putting a gray box on top of it. Uh, but as I scroll down, see the red is pinned. The red is probably right here where my cursor is right now. And it's going to stay there. So as this scrolls up to it, there we go. When it scrolls up to it, you see the red. And if you kind of squint and try to trick your brain, you could see uh, that the illusion is now broken since you've seen behind the scenes. You can tell that that's just a red box back there that's staying in place. Uh, but if you can fool yourself, if you can kind of trick your brain into going back to not knowing how this is done, it is a really very cool effect. I'm a big fan. So now that you guys know that, go and play with it. And uh, you could also cut out some words, make the words turn red. You could have little symbols turn red. All kinds of cool possibilities. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. I've got more coming.